Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today is Gay Supremacy Day. It's pre-goddamn season and for some reason we actually did lose like a uh, last war for um, very little points I believe. I, yeah, <laughs> I think it was like 180 points. So basically one attack on, on, a, on a tower and uh, yeah, I also DC'd <laughs> as you can see by here. I was, uh, I was doing it at like uh, in the train or something. And then I DC'd, so uh, that's cool. So if I didn't DC, maybe we would have we would have won. But this whole story is relevant because we've never been this low, <laughs> and that's gonna be funny because we're gonna use one unit only in uh, GVG. Hopefully, it's gonna you know be a lot of victories with only one uh, unit. But hopefully, uh, will it's gonna be enough of a flex or enough of a disrespect to the enemy that they'll really feel like super bad about their defenses so that's what we're doing and uh hopefully it's gonna go well but I, I i probably will you know just lose a lot but at least it's gonna be fast all right for the first one it's basically a no-brainer it's because uh violet on the first one is just really good we just have to get that apple up and running before uh too many things go like too wrong you know but other than that we should be mostly okie dokie in the stokey and uh yeah all right, and not not a great not a great start. We had to evade that. We didn't evade that, so please evade this, so I can get enough stacks, so I can uh, so I can go ham bronies on this uh, on this uh, on this R because now I have uh, double stacks on Violet Stella's man, so we're basically super super Gucci Gucci here now. So this this is gonna be good. All right, so he doesn't gab, which is actually a good thing. We want to get rid of the R because he's the only one that can really do a lot of damage. Um, well, maybe not this one, but like, generally speaking, they can deal a lot of damage. The mischance debuff isn't much of a problem. The defense break is going to be a problem if we do get it, you know, on us. But I think we should be okay. But as you can see, we could have we could have stacked up S3 uh, if uh, there were more misses, but I guess that's okay. She's eventually going to kill herself. I just, I just don't want to... I just don't want to get defense broken. That's the only thing that I don't want to get. Defense broken would be bad, and bad is bad. We all know bad is bad. Right. We're gonna kill. We're gonna kill this boy. Actually, that crit's pretty good because we can heal a lot from it. Now we do a little bit more of healing. 400, eight, 400 up for it, six hundred down. Defense break would be bad, as I was saying. Defense break would be bad, but I think this one is in the bag because uh, he's gonna heal uh, next turn but I think it would need like a lot of counters uh, for him to uh, really get up there all right so my guy heals about 5k and he has a lot of uh, HP so this one shouldn't heal that much well actually he healed about the same <laughs> he healed about the same but now he deado and uh, first one goes for violet all right no now it's time for fire violet which is Milim. she's on immunity so the debuffs wouldn't be a problem. Uh, Landy won't be a problem, but the t Surin will be a problem. So we have to deal with that. The way we're going to deal with the t Surin is we're going to go, well, pretty hard on her. And uh, we're just going to... We're just going to pray we counter a lot so we can actually heal a lot from S1. Our evasion chance is, uh, is solid AF. And we shouldn't have a problem with it. All right? Okay, here comes Chatty. No counters so far. But now we do have attack buff, so it's going to be good if we counter. There's a counter. Gucci Ducci. Here comes Landy. But Landy, uh, again, uh, Earth unit. Uh, it's like it's like going Violet Rem, right? It's just, she's never really going to do enough damage to do stuff, right? Oh, she hit us, but at least we counter. And we do get a proc, which I think will be, like, we'll be able to actually kill her from here. And then it's just going to be two. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to kill her from here. Yep, tons of he tons of damage. Now we have a permamis person. There it is. We won't have enough to uh, to soul burn to have like perma perma not invincible per perma. You know what I mean, man. All right, let's go here. Bonk. Big heels. All right, so. Here's the one turn we, we can actually get hit, right? This is the one turn we can actually get hit. Hopefully we don't get hit. We didn't get hit, and we counter for the heal, which is actually pretty good. 
Not only for the heal, actually. That's a bit more than just for the heal. So, this one's in the bag. Extension. And now we fight a tank and we heal. They don't heal. It's a easy peasy. Fire Violet. Easy peasy. So, when you, when you guys ask yourselves, Hey, Native, uh, you used to be the Husbando guy. Why do you have Milim? This is why I have Milim. Because <laughs> she's a Fire Violet. It's very fun. Why, like, why am I so over, overly positive today? <laughs> I feel like I'm actually being super positive. I'm not sure what's happening to me. Normally I get a little, uh, a little friskier with my, uh, with my commentary, but I don't know, man. <laughs> today I feel in peace, and it's, it's actually like showing up in game. It's, uh, it's just very fun to only use one unit. I, at least I think so. I think, I think it's very, very funny. All right. I don't think we need to S3 anymore. Evasion doesn't really do anything for us anymore. And now it's Owarida. It's over and well, first one's a clear out victory with only one unit. Very poggy and uh, I thought it was, it was gonna take, uh, it's gonna be fast battles, but apparently beating three units with only one, not that fast, but uh, hopefully we'll lose more <laughs> on the next two fights. And that's gonna be a little bit faster, we'll see. All right, guys, <laughs> I really wanted to take something else, and I think I still might. I will. Yeah, I will, actually. So, bottom team, yeah, let's do that. Bottom team would be easy with Violet, but we're going to take Chad Crow in there. And then top team, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to keep Milim. I think Milim's going to do okay. Wait, actually, I meant to swap. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, I may have made a mistake. Maybe I haven't. Who knows? I uh, I just think that if I get unbuffable, uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, annoying. Also, if I get if I get hit, hit if I get hit here, it would be annoying. But I didn't get hit, so it's fine. All right, this is never gonna hit me, so I guess we're fine. I guess we really are fine. And now this is never gonna hit me either. Yeah. Okay, we're fine. We're we're good. But if that, uh, if that Selene was actually, like, a lot faster, though, we could have had a problem, maybe. Bonk! Alright. Ah! It happened! No! 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 It's happening! Stop it! No! They're all DPS! Why is it doing so much damage? No! Mila! I mean, it was fast. <laughs> I mean, it, dude, honestly, what the fuck was that, man? That that fucking Basar did like 2k damage through a miss. That was, uh, that was some retarded shit right there, man. Right, so the main idea here is going to be get, get hit really hard, uh, go on the SSB, one-shot the SSB, uh, and then, yeah. She landed the unbuffable? Do you understand how much ER I have? Like, what the fuck is this SSB? Dude, I am I'm not even kidding. Like, what the fuck is this SSB? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you need to run, like, over 100, over 100 e effectiveness on it to hit me. Well, actually, at this point, over 150. That's a really weird SSB then, huh? The Dizzy, I'm, I'm kind of expecting her to hit me for now, and then she'll stop hitting me pretty soon. As you can see, I'm starting to resist. That's just, uh, that's just that good old uh, magic. Alrighty, let's do a good old uh, ulti. This one should kill the uh, SSP. And if it doesn't, I will kill her next turn, but I think it should kill. It killed. Yeah, I should resist from now, uh, but that unbuffable is really fucking bullshit, right? That unbuffable is, is bullshit because I'm gonna have a neck, like a couple extra turns where I'm gonna struggle to get my buffs up. All right, I should start like resisting now because uh, I have a shit ton of uh, ER right now. Yeah, it's noble oath, so at this stage we do have a, a lot more to do. But normally our shield is really what helps us here, right? I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to cut back the turns on this DZ. Okay, we're Gooch. 
Maybe, maybe I don't go for the for the DZ now. She no longer has the amount of effectiveness she would require to do something to me. All right, so we now have a choice to kill something. I mean, let's do let's do the safe play, right? Safe play is go for DZ. Uh, Angelica is not going to do any damage, and we can just deal with it. And then it's just one victory to Chad Crow. I really can't believe we lost that first one, but like, that was really fucking odd. <laughs> that was really odd. Also, I could have taken Violet on the first one, which was actually my main idea. Because, uh, Cerise would instantly push me. And then none of those units can really deal with the Violet. Um, so yeah. Alright, now we just need to cycle. This is gonna do 200 damage per tick. Now, with the fence buff, look how much damage it's gonna do, basically zero. That was a crush hit, okay, that doesn't count. I actually want to see, like, how much damage she does. Okay, I'm gonna lose the fence buff. Well, <laughs> well, I guess we're doing this. And brrr, bup, 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 bup. and she gone. Alright, chat crowd did not disappoint, on to the last fight of today's video. We go back to Violet Cheese, but we first go with Arya. Is Arya going to be able to do anything here? I'm not sure if I get the fence broken and in insta hit. I'm not sure I can do it. But uh, apparently we do outspeed, so that's good. I am worried about the Dark Corvus. He does penetrate a lot of stuff. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. That is a lot of damage. That's a lot, a lot of damage. Right, I really need to shake off the defense break because... That's really gonna, like, impair my damage and my tankiness, right? So, I need to do something about, about that, because that's scary. That defense break really is fucking scary. I'm kind of scared. That, like, I would not take, like, half of that damage. And now the Dark Curve is about to go! Uh, yeah, we lost. <laughs> we, uh, we lost big time. We lost big time, and my girlfriend called me. <laughs> Lost big time and uh, girlfriend calls me. Uh, wait through in the video. <laughs> God, God damn. God damn. Alright. It's time for Violet. I mean, there's there's no way we go like victory draw lose, right? It's going to be a victory draw draw. It's going to be a draw draw. Also, <laughs> no idea why I picked Arya there. Like, horrible idea. Makes absolutely, like, it makes zero sense. Why, why would I ever do that? <laughs> Alright. This boy hit me. And he hit me hard. But I think we're fine. I say we're fine, but we're not really fine. But I say we're fine. Let's just pop this boy. Because this is, uh, you know, just squishy boy. So let's give him immortal. Let him uh, have his fun. Let, let him have his way. Okay. Now we just get super stacked from, uh, from DZ. And Dien, actually, because she's already she's already popped her stuff, so we're gooch. And now we pray for a 50-50 attack down. Hey, hey, hey! Now even if he hits me, he won't kill. So we are a hundred percent gooch. Or are we? Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> ah, no! ah! Are you fucking kidding me? There's, that was a, that was a fucking easy ass win. Like, Kieran was done. He was done. I was going to be like, hit by water, counter heal, hit by water, counter heal, kill the, kick the Kieran, easy, peasy. But that doesn't happen. It goes S1 from the end, miss, dual attack. Don't miss with Kron. That is fucking bullshit. Fuck this game. Thank God it's preseason. At least it was fun at the start. <laughs> That's all I can say. And uh, yeah, I mean, what, what else can I say? That's one in a million fucking chance right there. Uh, yeah. Remember, it's a violet talisman violet. So doesn't matter what element you're using on uh, on any unit. It's a 35% chance to land. And it's a 5% it's a chance to dual attack. And uh, yeah, you do the math on that. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was very fun. I mean, 
it's preseason. We're not going to do much in uh, in the gay supremacy series, but uh, I guess we can have some fun. And uh, we did try, and we did achieve. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. -bye.